shall shut. No man shall close. No man can hinder me. In the name of Jesus. Say I make progress this year. In the name of Jesus. Say the second half of the year. I make progress. I make advancement. In the name of Jesus. Say there is light in my path. There is victory in my path. There is joy in my path. Say there is triumph in my path. God has made a way. That be Jesus. Neighbor, sister or brother, God has made a way. God has made a way for you. Come on, prophesy. And say, God has made a way for you. God has made a way for you. Come on, come on, go to another one. Maybe that one is not serious. Well, just go to another one. So God, the living God, has made a way. Don't worry anymore. God has opened a door for you. You will not cry anymore. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> when they block this road, God opens this road. When the landlord is just, just know, just know there is a way. Even when you're stuck, just sit down and say, God has made a way. He made a door, he made a road in the desert. He made a road in the Red Sea. He made a road in the Dead Sea, in the, in the River Jordan. He made a way. Where there was no way, he made a way. Think about it. The disciples are in the house. And Jesus made a way through the wall. <laughs> Hallelujah. God has made a way for your school fees. God has made a way for that thing that you desire. God has made a way. A way for your peace. A way for your joy. A way for understanding. Oh, a joy and a way of happiness. The perfect way to be happy. He has made a way. That is Jesus. Amen. To name to your welcome in the presence of God. It's good to see you. Tell you it's good to see you. You look sharp. Tell you look hot. Love Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, choir. Can you clap for the choir? Choir, we're thinking that they are the only ones who are looking sharp. We're surprised that some people are there also who are sharp. I know what you're thinking. Your mind is a part in the name of Jesus. Say, I'm holy. Love you, Jesus. <laughs> no. So over the weekend we were somewhere with the leaders and the departments. We had a beautiful time. Um, the next time we are having a, a mountain time of prayer, we'll carry, carry the whole church. Yes. We first wanted to test the waters. Yeah. Whether Eric can handle. You can handle, brother. I've tested it for you. Amen. Praise God. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of God. Praise God. Hallelujah. In the next 25 minutes, I'm going to be sharing with you some of the more important. It's good to see you for the second service. You look beautiful. Amen. You're a powerful man service. Amen. I know you have testimonies. Praise God. Amen. How many of you have testimonies? You have a testimony? Yes, put it again. I got a testimony. You got a testimony? Yeah. Now, if you really have a testimony, just put up your hand. Just put up your hand. Some people don't have testimonies. What is a testimony? What God has done that no man can do. As a testimony, that it only takes his blood to die. As a testimony, it takes only the blood of Jesus. So please, 
Don't forget that testimony. Don't forget the testimony. On Saturday, we shall be sharing those testimonies. I'm sure by the end of service, uh, I will receive the, the name of the venue, okay? You get me that the name of the venue so that I can tell the people, praise God. Hallelujah. So we shall have the testimonies breakfast. From the time you come to church, we shall also be celebrating four years of ministry. You came to Bible. So, what God has done to you from the time you came to this ministry or from the time you encountered His grace, what has happened? Praise God. So, Saturday is very peculiar. And on Sunday, we are receiving Mama in a powerful way. And so, the Jews have no idea. Yeah. God has made a way for you. God has... All right, sit down. Praise God. So it will be a powerful time. That moment we shall also have time to recognize the women of God in our church. God has blessed us with the women of power. Listen, listen, there is no ministry on earth like it being. Listen, listen. The ladies in this church are, are so, so bright. They're wise. They have the wisdom of God. They are so powerful. And so Sunday we have called the women led Sunday. The ladies led Okay, okay. You are still a lady, you are still dreaming. You have not understood. God has blessed you. All right, sit down. So, this coming Sunday on 26th, all ladies, right from the microphone up to the, up to the camera. Ladies. Ladies in power. Sit down and listen. You have been disturbing us. <laughs> All right. Praise God. On that Sunday as well, we shall receive principal in a mighty way. She's right there. For her, it was a weekend. Dear Lord, first time we see you. Dear Lord. You look very young now. <laughs> God is good. I'm telling you. Hey, God is good. We shall hear from you more on Sunday. So, just prepare. The place great for this place. I want to hear things. Amen. So, we shall have the first service first. I will give you the normal principles. And then, second service is going to be loaded. Amen. Amen. Tell us what we need to know. You know, some gents here need to be empowered in Jesus' name. That's the first someone. Second someone. Hallelujah. 55 minutes already. All right. Praise God. All right. Tonight, to this morning, I want just a few minutes to this afternoon. Remember, the word of the season is the nations are coming. And we are supposed to dig deeper, dig deeper to the full understanding of that thing. 
Because only then can we exhaust the resources of the season. Because God wants us to benefit from what He speaks. That is a prophecy unfolding. That is the creative word. God gave us the Rema word this season. And it's the word that should work for us. How are we going to use the word? That's what I tell you every Sunday, Tuesday, and every Sunday, Tuesday. Praise God. Let me give you the direction. Hebrews chapter 11, verse number 30. Hebrews 11, verse 30. Give me King James. By faith, the walls of Jericho fell down after they were composed about seven days. Next verse. By faith, the harlot Rahab perished not with them, but believed not when she had received the spies. Next verse. And what more shall we say? Maybe it should be verse 28. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. Verse 33. Verse 33. Verse 33. Who through faith, give me verse 32, 32, 32. And what shall I more say? For the time would fail me to tell you of Gideon, and of Barak, and of Samson, of Jephthah, of David also, and Samuel, and of Isaac, and the prophets. Amen. Now, verse 33, I want us to read that together. Who through faith subdued kingdoms? He's talking about Jephthah. He's talking about Samson. He's talking about Samuel. He's talking about prophets. He's talking about prophets. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Through faith. The rest we are being told how they walked out through their faith. Or how they walked valiantly through their faith. Moses, by faith, when he was born, he was hid by parents. By faith, Moses, when he was full of age, the Bible says he refused to be called. And he chose to suffer affliction with children of Israel, esteeming the reproach of Christ than the passing pleasure of Egypt. By faith. The Bible says he looked for the one that was invisible. By faith. But when it came to 32, go back there. Amplified probably can give us the indication. And what shall I say, Father, for time would fail of me to tell you of Gideon, of Barak, Samson, Jephthah, of David, and of Samuel, and of the prophets. Hallelujah. Next verse. 33. Amen. Amen. Who by the help of faith subdued kingdoms. Hallelujah. These guys have just talked about and the prophets have a mandate to subdue kingdoms. And kingdoms are nations. Message version. Ah. I could go on and on and on. But I have no, I've run out of time. There are so many more. Gideon is one of them. Barak is one of them. Samson is another. Javi is another. David is another. Samuel, the prophets, how many dots are there? There are many. The list is endless. Yes, sir. Next verse. You can put your name. Hallelujah. Because he has to put how many dots? Three. That means one, two, three. It cannot reach a hundred right now. The, the book is small. Yes, sir. And so many works did Jesus do that if we got the books to write down, they will not contain it. It's only God that we are infinite. You're without end. A world without end. You have eternal life. That is life without end. That's the life of God. Praise God. Look at that. Through acts of faith, they toppled kingdoms. They toppled governments. They had the power to hold Muslim in power or to overthrow him. Listen, I am not going for politics. By faith, you can say your time is up. 
All right, that is so big for you. You can stay in a place of what your time is right for promotion. You can topple your boss. Oh, uh -uh. no, no, don't, 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 don't fire your boss if he's born again. I brought you to a bigger position and you go for where you want. You can topple that office. Yes, sir. What about those who don't have jobs? God can give you a business idea. Amen. Amen. There is there is a there is a version that uses the word nations for kings. Is that good news? Let me check good news. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Can you just give me that? Give good news. Who through faith they fought? <laughs> they fought whole countries complete like. Round yes, sir. Paul. Yes, sir. Yeah. and won. Mm. They did not, they did what was right. I'll topple you from there. <laughs> Through faith, they fought whole countries and won independent countries. Yes, sir. They did what was right and received what God had promised. They shut the mouth lions. Who was that? Daniel. Ah, now you can get those by faith. Ah, Daniel entered there and said, Your mouth. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, this is your Bible, right? Yes, sir. By faith, he said, In the name of Jesus. Yes, the lions do not speak today. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So he was not scared of the king's command. Yes, sir. Hey, they have warned you if you know you've been seeing people entering there and they are not coming back. The bones are there. Yes, and you come to the king and say, please do whatever you want, but I will not bow down to your God. Yes, I will only worship the living God. Yes, all right, all right. It is time for service. And they say, please, you're not going out. First be in office. It's time for service. By faith, you can shut their mouth. Even when you're coming back late. You'll be like, no, 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 nothing happened. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Who is the lion today? You are not finding him in the jungle. Yes, they are human lions today. Yes, <laughs> it is when it attacks your calling, when it attacks your service to God, that's when you say, Lions, zip up. Yes, sir. Why is it that every time you're leaving office, they are gossiping around you? Zip them up. Amen. By faith, I have zipped them up in the name of Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Who through faith? Subdued kingdoms. They did what? They subdued. They made them their subjects. They were the rulers on the top. They did whatever they wanted. They danced to the tune of the Israelites. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The nations are coming because they have been subdued. There is no any high authority they can refresh to except this one. Amen. That's why it says, and the gospel of the kingdom shall be prayed. And this message of the kingdom shall be prayed. And to the whole world, and to the ends of the earth, and the end shall come. Why is it now that the word of God is necessary? By the banker, by the politician, but because their systems are failed. Amen. This one is the one that subdues. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You're about to ask the believers, how do you do it? How do you do it? Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Let's learn some few basics here. How or what qualifies the nations to be subdued? Deuteronomy 9 verse 1. Deuteronomy 9 verse 1. So the title of my sermon is Subduing Nations. How to subdue nations. Subduing nations. You go to a place, you are not the tribe of that place, but then you are commanding them. That's how Joseph became a ruler in a foreign land. And that's how I went to Rwanda. I didn't know the language, but I still prayed. There is no place I go to and I'm a stranger. No. They will just look at me as a superior man. Not a stranger. 
if I'm a stranger, is a, a good stranger who needs to, to be benefited from. Yes, Not strange unto dismay, no. Hallelujah. Not strange unto bad character, no. It is strange and superior. Amen. They want what you have because it is the latest trend. This gospel of the kingdom. This is what are these guys preaching. It's the latest gospel. Hallelujah. They want them never to preach in the name of Jesus. In the name in authority. Because that name is authority. That name is the one for dominion. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Subduing what? Nations. Hear, O Israel, how thou art to pass over Jordan this day. Go into possess nations. What? Possess nations greater and mightier than thyself. Cities great and fit up to heaven. There were such cities. We are not. Listen, there were cities first up to heaven. Hallelujah. Wow, 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 wow. You can conquer Dubai with the gospel. Amen. Amen. You can conquer Dubai with the gospel. Amen. Amen. Hear, O Israel. Hear, O EPN. All right. Thou art to pass over Jordan this day. You are supposed to cross the line today. Amen. Amen. To what direction? To nations. He says to possession. Hallelujah. You are to cross from no possession to possession. Hallelujah. He says only if you can hear. Hear this today. You are going to possess your business today. Listen, you are going to cross Amen. this line. Amen. He says hear it. Hear it. Because you need to know how it's going to happen. You've been trying to cross, but every time you cross, you fall. You've been trying to do it, but every time you do it, you fail. You've been trying to possess, but every time you try to, they possess you. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Spirits can possess men, right? Yes, sir. But there is one that possesses the spirits. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. You can overpower them. He says, Behold, today I give you power and authority. He says, I have given you authority over the powers of darkness. Luke 10 19. Look at that from verse 18. He says, Behold, I beheld Satan fall like lightning. And he says, Behold, today I give you authority. I give you exhaustion. Over the miracle working ability of devils. That's dominion. Look at that. And he said unto them, I beheld sudden as lightning fall from heaven, where the cities are built to. All right, keep going. Because Satan had captured that place, he would go to a place and he said, Woe unto you, Chorazin. He's ad addressing the spirit of that city. Yes, sir. Because spirits govern cities. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. When the city is wicked, there is a spirit over it. There are kings in Israel that ruled and no man did evil. Including Saul. They would say, well, Saul was a wicked man in the sense that he disobeyed God. But that man was a man of God. He was anointed. He had the holy oil. The Bible says, and David dared not even to. He said, he did not even want to thank the Lord's anointed. He had the ability to kill him. Even when he was helping himself. Even though he was disobedient. You are looking to, for me, you know. You are looking to kill. You're looking for me to kill me. But I have found you, the one supposed to be killed. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Saul was anointed. He was a man of God. Yes. The man had banished witches, had abolished witchcraft in the land. Yes. Hallelujah. That should tell you that he was a man of God. Yes. No worship of any other God. In fact, Saul was deeper than Solomon. Solomon, the one you, you, you like. 
soul is better in terms of worship of God. Much as he disobeyed God in that era. If someone had prayed for that man, he would have been forgiven. But the prophet was in the office that time. Don't be surprised to find Saul in heaven. Don't be surprised. Don't be what? <laughs> Praise God. There are kings in Israel. When they were in power, there was no evil. Because they had captured the spirit of that area. They had captured. Daniel is praying and then he encounters spirits. How did he know there was the prince of Persia? How did he know? How did he know that? How did he know that it was coming? Because he was a man of God. He had preserved that nation. When you're a powerful man, you don't only see things that are physical. Look at the spirit behind it. When the spirit is of unbalanced, we have subdued in the name of Jesus. Amen. So when God told us in the prayer mountain, I have given you Mbale, he was talking about us. He was talking about us. He says, the cities you're going to possess are cities that are not ordinary. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against powers and you know rulers of darkness. Principalities where? In high places, in high places, in heavenly places. Hallelujah. Fenced up to heaven. It may not be like tall like this, but they, they, they are, they are, their control is not in this world. Are you listening? Yes, to stop two nations, it begins from the spirit. Wage a war in the spirit. You are not just going to say, ah, I'm going to get that job. You walk in that, they will fire you. They will just get away. <laughs> you have not prayed. You don't have rema. You don't have faith. <laughs> That's what we will tell you. Speak in tongues. Do it. Mean it. You know where you're entering. Kaba suta kata. You're praying yourself into the office. You have the boldness. As you go there, you know surely this is the one I saw in the vision. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. So far. In high places. In Joshua 6, the angel appeared to him, the angel of the Lord. Now we know that was the commander of the Lord's army, Jesus himself. Hallelujah. He appeared to him and he said, you, are you for us? Joshua said, are you for us or against us? Because if you're not for us, I will clear you today, now. <laughs> and Jesus said, I'm the commander of the Lord's army. He bowed down. He says, this one is for us. Yes, he gave him instruction. Look at verse 1, Joshua 6. We're coming back to look. Praise God. Now Jericho was straightly shut up because of the children of Israel. None went out and none came in. They are already subdued from the outside. Look at that. Next verse. And the Lord said unto Joshua, See, can you see? Yes, sir. I can see. Can you see? Oh, yes, I can see. Because it begins from there. See. Do you have eyes? For what? See. See, I have given into your hands. So you look at your hands and you see Jericho. Hallelujah. These people are slow today. Yes, sir. I think this congregation is borrowed. Yes. See, I have given you dollars. Do you see them? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 He says, see, I have given unto your hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This thing is by faith. Yes, when I say car, are you seeing a bicycle? No. Are you seeing a car? Yes, what kind of car is the question? Yes, sir. Because Hallelujah. exhaustion empowers your choice. That authority empowers your choice. The right choice. Isn't it amazing sometimes? <laughs> it also happens sometimes that I went somewhere with some respected man and said, please, choose whatever you want. What do you want to eat for lunch? I said, I want tea. Me, I said, I want what? When I saw everyone was ordering for chicken, I said, no, I want chicken also. 
because there seems to be I didn't see chicken but I can see now I'm not late Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Amen. Now, Hallelujah. Segregate ambition from faith. Hallelujah. I will help some of you who think you are just going to order anyhow. Segregate ambition from faith. Son. Am I helping you? He says, See, today, see, I have given into thine hands Jericho, not only Jericho, but also the king. That means that kingdom is gone. Again, the king thereof and the mighty men of the city, the bankers, the policemen. Talk about it. Hallelujah. They are coming. Hallelujah. Look at that. Next one. Ah. And you shall come past the city, and ye men of war, and go run about the city. Thus shall do six days. But he first gave you the spirit. When, one, when God wants to make you rich, he first gives you the spirit. Yes, sir. But you've never dreamt about money. Don't worry. It's going to come. Amen. At this dream, you're in the bank. Yes. And you ask yourself, what was I doing in the bank when you wake up? Man has come. In the name of Jesus. See, I have given you. Can you see? But I have given you, but you don't see. Can you see? Yes, sir. I all, you know, you know, I have given you the keys, but you have no idea. You, know, you need to see. Because there are certain things I cannot do for you. It's your accountability, it's your responsibility to see. Your eyes are open to see in the name of Jesus. That's why Paul is praying in Ephesians 1 of verse 17 that the eyes of your understanding may be enlightened. How? By the spirit of wisdom and revelation. Because wisdom is another set of eyes yes, sir. to see. Yes, sir. The Bible says a wise man for us sees evil. So wisdom can prophesy. Yes, <laughs> That's why we come and say, I see you flying. Amen. I'm not seeing you begging. Amen. And you're asking me, how did you see? You must be sick. See, Jesus told me, see, Amen. see, I have given a victory, see. Amen. And then I tell you, I see victory. I, uh, Amen. <laughs> Amen. So he told me, see, I have given a husband. And then God has given me a husband. Amen. And then you must see also. Because if you don't see, you'll still be bypassed. There's a certain sight which is called faith. Like Bartimaeus. I am not seeing, but I can hear. How did he know it was Jesus? He had people say, Jesus is passing. I don't need money now, please. Jesus, son of David, please have mercy on me. They even kept it quiet. So I don't care. You don't know how much pain I've been having. Jesus! And Jesus had. I said, wait a minute. This is faith calling me. Yes, but the Myers, what do you want? I want to see. <laughs> Listen, what did Jesus ask? Because you must ask. You must ask. Why did Jesus ask? Because you must ask. Write it down. Even though Jesus had the power to heal him there and then, he had to ask him. Because sometimes your choices are not correct. That's why authority empowers you to give you the right choice. He says when you pray, you pray amiss. But then he says, they that pray according to the will of God, their petitions are granted them by the Father. Hallelujah. First John 5 verse 13. And we have our petitions granted us because we pray according to the will of the Father. Bartimaeus, what do you want? I want to see. So I said, please, what do I going to do for you? Uh, anything. I will not pray for you. Anything. You want me to take responsibility of your life? No. This prophecy is not for you. What do you want God to do for you? He was low. Huh? Oh, yeah. The things 
things have I written unto you that you may believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. Next verse. Amen. Verse 14. And this is the confidence. What? Believing in the name of the Son of God. Because the name is authority. That's the confidence. Amen. He's saying that this is the confidence. What? That if we uh -huh. He hears us. That's the confidence. Confidence in the name of Jesus. You believe in the name of Jesus, you have confidence. Your confidence in believing in the name of Jesus. What gives you assurance that whenever you believe in God is coming to pass is because you believe in the name of May God give you the desires of your heart in the name of Jesus. Because you believe in the name of Jesus. May God give you the desire of your heart in Jesus' name. Amen. They subdued kingdoms. They subdued nations. By faith. By faith, they subdued kingdoms. You're not going to overpower because you just said it. You have to believe. Luke 10, 19, he says something there. Praise God. He said, I behold sudden fall like lightning from heaven. And then he says in verse 19, authority. Can you be quickened? Next verse. Be quickened, please. Let's read together. One, two, three, go. Behold. That word again, behold, is the word see. Is the word see? Look at NLT version. Just that first part. Look. Hallelujah. I see that. Yes, Look, I have given you authority. Now see, I have. Can you see it? Yes, With means authority can be seen. Yes, authority is seen by movements. Where there is authority, obedience is inevitable. Write it down. Where there is authority, obedience is inevitable. It cannot be missed out. People must obey. Where there is authority, obedience is there. It doesn't matter how, how old you are, or what you have done, or what you have not done. As long as you are in authority, they will obey you. Have you been in a class, there is a very small teacher, but the voice, the voice, it can shake the elephant. <laughs> authority. Hallelujah. You can see authority by movements. Yeah. Obedience is the result. Look, I have given you authority over all the power of the enemy, and you can walk amongst snakes and scorpions and crush them. <laughs> and nothing will injure you. That is to subdue. Hallelujah. God told Adam, be fruitful in my life. A few yet, subdue and have dominion. Go back to King James. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 19. Behold, I give you. Behold is the eye of the prophet. It's also the same word that is used for the word law. Law, yeah. I'll be with you until the end of the end, the end of the age. Yes, sir. Behold, all things are becoming new. See with the eye of the spirit. See with a new mind, Amen. with a renewed mind. You view ministry in a different way. Amen. Amen. Behold, I give you authority. I give you power. That word is authority. To do what? To tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. That word tread is the word to subdue. Is the word dominion. Even though authority, even though the enemy, the Satan is over cities. He said, I have given you power over Satan in that city. Amen. This is the reason how Paul would preach in a place and the whole city came. Jesus preaches to a Samaritan woman who was a principality. When he had captured the lady, the whole city came. Yes, sir. <laughs> ah, yeah. Philip is preaching in Samaria and the people are giving up witchcraft scores. Mm -hmm. Scores of witchcraft. Yes, 
Books of witchcraft. Which means witchcraft is a doctrine. They are taught. They are the books of witchcraft. Indoctrination. They brought books. The Bible says it was so many dollars, million dollars. It was an expensive course to study witchcraft. Is in you, you go to South Africa, it's a class, it's a, it's a subject, it's a course. They teach people witchcraft. Uh, she has heard about it. <laughs> Nigeria, what the kind of class? They teach people witchcraft. It is gnosis, that is scientific knowledge, going to the brain. Look at that in the Bible. It's there. It tells you that witchcraft is a work of the flesh. It is gnosis. Yes, sir. Knowledge gotten by school. Uh -uh. Are people born witches? We have a party when we're celebrating this one is born a boy. His name is called James. But 15 years down the road, the man is practicing witchcraft. Yeah. Who taught him? We, we throw a party when he was... <laughs> Praise God. It matters where you listen from. Hallelujah. Some places you become the total sum of that communication. The Bible speaks of doctrines of devils. Did you ever see that in your Bible? Yes, sir. It says demons are busy teaching people things that are not in the Bible. That's why here we read the Bible. We read the Bible and let you see the Bible. Hallelujah. Thank God for technology. You can see it for yourself. We have to take it serious because it's going to be the era in the last day. He says, as there were false prophets, there also shall be false teachers. Because the people are going to be taught the wrong doctrine, doctrine of devils. You don't need to speak in tongues. Doctrine of devils. Where is it written? <laughs> Praise God. Anyway. So, he has empowered us to subdue nations. Praise. Go back to, I have five minutes to finish. Go back to Deuteronomy 9. Are you understanding something? Yes, sir. So, next time someone wants to teach you witchcraft. You know, witchcraft is not very different. Some, there are witches in church. Witchcraft is not only when you are shaking something. No. No. Some of you are already bewitching some people right now. <laughs> I'll teach you. Let's wait for the prayer and most likely the second week of July. We'll beat them up. I'll teach you some things. How you can escape witchcraft. Forget about this one who puts on these things and you know he's a witch. No. People are witches even in church. <laughs> Not these ones, of course. These ones are not with yes, no. Bishop Oedepo went to a church and said, how many of you are witches? More than a quarter of the church stood. Some of them were deaconess. Because they were taught so they understand witchcraft is not a bad term. It's just a way of survival. How you can manipulate God's nature? Business. <laughs> the business. <laughs> How many of you have businesses? <laughs> That's not for today. Praise God. All right, look at this. Let's read together. One, two, three, go. And a people, so go back a little bit. It says, you're going to possess mighty people, great people, not some. Thou art to pass over Jordan this day to go to possess, to, to dominate, to subdue nations. Greater and mightier than thyself. Cities great and fenced up to heaven. He puts a comma. Is he telling you what you're going to possess? A people great and tall. That can be America. All right. The children of Anakim, the giants, whom thou knowest, and of whom thou hast heard. Even those that have said, who can stand before the children of Anaki? Anak was a serious guy. Praise God. Amen. Keep going. Let's go. Understand therefore this day that the Lord thy God is 
he who goes over before you. That's very important. Hallelujah. I am going to subdue, but I'm not going along. He is going before me. Come on, somebody. Amen. You are going to subdue nations, Hallelujah. but how? I told you number one is by authority. Authority in the name of Jesus. That is faith in the name of Jesus. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, that subdues, that dominates and overpowers the world. Even our faith. Faith in the name of Jesus. Faith in the finished works of Jesus. Faith in the Holy Ghost. Faith in the gifts. Faith in the word of God. Faith empowers you to walk in authority. Authority is boldness. Authority is boldness. By the spirit of faith, you can dominate, you can conquer. You overcome. He says he leads us in a triumphant procession in Christ Jesus. So that's number two. He goes before us. Lord, I'm going to that office, but I don't know anybody. I know nobody there. I thank you because you're ahead of me. Proverbs 3 and verse number 5. Because I have acknowledged you, you will guide me in every step. I will overcome in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto your own understanding. Next verse. Verse 6. In all thy ways, acknowledge him. As long as you acknowledge God in all your ways. Look at that. You can never be in error. Amen. You can never be in error. You will never say, why was I here? You can never waste time. You will know exactly why you're in church. You know exactly why you're in that place. You will know why you are there, where you are. As long as you're in the business of acknowledgement, I acknowledge God. I am praying for the thing. God, you're with me. I am applying for this just God, you're with me. Lord, I'm reading the Bible. God, you're with me. God Almighty, you're with me in all my ways. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but you are with me. I'm going to the theater, but you're with me. Lord, I don't know how it's going to be. I'm moving out without money, but I know you'll bless me even in the field. You are with me. I am with you until the end of age. I am with you wherever you go. I will never leave you for a sec. I am with you. That's what God says. Acknowledge me. Recognize God. Jesus is here. I said he's here. Amen. Mending every broken heart. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the morning when you sing, I'm going to chat to receive the message. You are coming to the right place. And I'm here to deliver to you that healing. That miracle. That blessing. It is yours in the name of Jesus. Amen. I said it's yours in the name of Jesus. Amen. Some of you it seems like the road has been blocked. It is open. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The desire of your heart is reaching fulfillment tonight. In Jesus name. Amen. Acknowledging God. Because you're here, you acknowledge God as sovereign. You could be cooking. You could be in office. You could be doing this. But you're here. You've acknowledged God. Clap to Jesus somebody. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Go back to. So he says, shall they write to all the path? All the path. In Verse 3. He says, I'll go with you. I'll go before you. I'll reach there before you reach. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You've been to a place where they be like, we've heard about you. Yet nobody told them about you. They're just scrolling on Facebook and they encountered the photo. They said, we've heard about you. An angel appeared and disappeared. A man came here in the form of... Uh, uh, look at that. Understand. You see, this says understand. Understanding. Understand therefore this day that the Lord thy God is he which goeth over before you as a consuming fire. Amen. You see that? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Glory, amen. Glory, glory. As a consuming fire. That means even if someone had to bewitch you from getting a job, it consumes it. Hallelujah. Even if something had happened and you were being hindered from progressing, he consumes it. As what? A consuming fire. As a consuming fire. I send fire in the name of Jesus. You're sending God. Okay. As a consuming fire. He shall destroy them. 
and he shall bring them down before thy face. So, so shall thou drive them out. Now they are helpless. They are armless. Praise God. Amen. You overpower a man who is not armed. That's why they are disarming Kejongs. So that they are powerless. They can't subdue anyone. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. <laughs> Bible says, spoil principalities and disarmed them. No wonder he says in Isaiah, he says, he says, no weapon for it against you because it's not there. Whatever the devil is trying to bring, it's not true. It's forgery. Yes, sir. You do not get it. Amen. He disarmed. So he's not trying to forge, which is not there. Mm -hmm. Fake. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Even when he's talking about him as a lion, he says he's a roaring lion. Toothless. Mm -hmm. Can you get it? Yes, sir. Can you get it? Yes, sir. Hallelujah. And they shall bring them down before your face, and thou shalt drive them out and destroy them. What? Quickly. 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 Amen. Quickly. Amen. Quickly. Amen. quickly. Amen. So <sighs> So we are there bringing the prayer out and we're done. And then I say, is, it, is there anyone here sick? Of course, none among us was sick, but there were others who had been subdued by the anointing. They had come to pray, but they are now here with us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then he said, I have an ear problem. Quickly, get out. Hallelujah. It was that. Hallelujah. It was that. Quickly, quickly. There is a quickening in your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Let there be divine acceleration. Amen. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You listening to me? Yes. It says quickly, and their righteousness, okay, as the Lord has said unto thee. Next verse. The third one you need to see now. This is very important. Oh goodness, I have one minute. Verse four. Let's read together. Speak not thou in thine heart after that the Lord thy God has cast them up from before thee, saying, For my righteousness. The Lord brought me into possess this land, but for the wickedness of that nation, the Lord drove them out from before thee. Did you understand that? Yes, sir. It says, Don't you think that because I went to school now, because I have a degree, that's why I have this job? No, sir. It says, Not because of your righteousness that now you're possessing those cities, mm -hmm. not because you speak very well, not because you're so gifted, not because of what you can do. But because of their wickedness, now God has told them that days are expired Amen. and the true owners have come. Amen. The third thing is the righteousness of God. The righteousness of God and the fourth thing is the wickedness of those nations. The reason why they are coming is because they have reached the end of life. Now they, they need life. They need to start again. Proverbs 13 says, Hope deferred. He gave me a scripture. Look at this. Maybe let me give NLT. It says, Hope deferred makes the heart sick. You know? After the Lord your God has done this for you, don't say in your hearts, don't beat your heart and say, ha, ha, ha. Now, you see, if I didn't go to school, <laughs> There are moments you want to depend on our salaries and God humbles you. You say, give me all that money. And then you're wondering, for the next 29 days, what are you going to feed on? He says, I will do it myself. Hallelujah. And then he does it exceedingly abundantly above all that I ever imagined. Amen. Beyond my expectation. Hallelujah. I am even able to give it. When I'm salary, I cannot give. Because I give tithe, I give seed, and it's done. Whatever is remaining is bread. A lot of people continue it like that. <laughs> so when all is taken, now he tells you, now whatever comes, you have dominated. You choose what to use it for. Then it sustains you by his anointing, by his power. Praise God. There are moments depending on your ability. 
What will happen that day you don't have a job? You don't work. You don't do anything. Will you still cry? No. You must start early to depend on God. When you see the students, start to depend on God now, now. Hallelujah. When you say don't have a man, now start to depend on God. Hallelujah. Because there was a day you didn't have. How did you grow up to this age? Who was feeding you? I know your father gave you food. But who was giving him? Even if you say he was working, who was giving him strength? It is I who teaches you to make money. That's what the Bible says. You will acknowledge God. This success is on my own. It came from God's ability. As I went to pray, God gave me wisdom about this business. As I went to pray, God gave me this vision. I saw myself in this office. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hope divided to make us heart sick. But a dream fulfilled is a tree of life. Dream, dream fulfilled. Speak not thou in thy heart, and after that the Lord thy God has cut them. NIV and NLT. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. After the Lord your God has done this for you, don't say in your heart, The Lord has given us this land because we are such good people. Yes, sir. We such good people. You see, us the Baganda. You see, there is some flesh now. We need to kill it. <laughs> you see, us from the north, us from the mountains, we, we can run. There is nothing like that. Even they say it's not because of that ability of yours. Not by power, not by might, but by the spirit. Bible says. Can you rely on the spirit after today? Yes. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You're a student. Believe in God. Believe in God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Don't say in your heart the Lord has given us this land because we are such good people. No, it is because of the wickedness of those nations. Haji, your time has expired. Yes, sir. That business given to Prophet Isaac now. Yes, sir. No delays now. I was subdued. I can do nothing. Amen. I was just praying and God said, go to that Muslim. He will give you money. Amen. God has already expired his time. Yes, La Amen. Amen. Do you think the Amorites, the Anakims, the Hivites, the Hittites, the Jubicites did not want their land? But they forced them out. Yeah. Because God had told Abraham in chapter 17 that this is my covenant with you. The land where you are in, I will give you and many nations shall come from you. Hallelujah. So those nations need this land. You are one right, right now. But you are many people. Hallelujah. I don't have now kids that I'm paying school fees for. But I am empowered to pay for other school fees. Hallelujah. Those are the nations. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because of what? They are wickedness. Because of the wickedness of those nations, I think that is pushing them out of your way. As long as I want it, I want it. So if they are still doing wickedness, please warn them because I am coming there. Hallelujah. I am coming, and before you know it, listen, you are witnesses, right? Yes, Not many of you are 40 years. Not many of you. Which means you are still living. If the Lord tarries for the next 40 years, you will be 80, right? You will see me. <laughs> you will be seeing me in another glory. Hey! You will not, you know, right now you don't know your neighbor is a witch at home. But you'll only realize when I am there buying the place. And then you are. Ah, what, what problem did you get? No, I just want to leave this place. Is that a good reason? I just want to leave this place. Amen. Your days have expired. Hallelujah. You are not supposed to live in this place any longer. That's what God is saying. Saying to the wicked man. Mm. They rather let them relocate to Botaleja or somewhere. Mm. Bale, their days have expired. Hallelujah. It is time let God bring investors that are born again in the city in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let those businesses, let those houses, those buildings be owned by men of God. Amen. People who honor God. Hallelujah. Nations are coming. Amen. Money is coming. Amen. 
nations are come, man is come in Jesus. Not by their righteousness, but by their wickedness they are expired. No, 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 you hear things like so and so has died. What has happened? But he was a he was a rich man. <laughs> Expired. And the believer is ascending in that position. You may think, no, let's cry, let's cry, let's cry. No. I don't know why the speaker died. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Verse 5. I don't know. And even if you wish your president to die, he cannot die. <laughs> there are people you're praying for them to die, but they are not dying. It's not their time. <laughs> they are not wicked as you think. <laughs> you listening to me? Yeah. Amen. It is not because you are so good or have such integrity that you are about to occupy their land. The Lord will drive these nations ahead of you only because of their wickedness and to fulfill the He swore to your ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in chapter 17 of Genesis. Praise God. What is the promise he gave them? Genesis 17. Ah. Praise God. A righteous man finishes seven times. Praise God. It's not a scripture. It's by command. Look at that. Genesis 17 verse 1. And when Abraham was 99 years old, the Lord appeared unto him and said unto him, I am the almighty God. Walk before me and become perfect. And I will make my covenant before me and thee. And I will multiply thee exceedingly. And Abraham fell on his face. And the God talked with him saying. As for me behold my covenant is with thee. And thou shalt be a father of many nations. Which means the nations are coming. Verse 5. Neither shall thy name anymore be called Abraham. But, my, but, but thy name shall be Abraham. For a father of many nations have I made thee. And I will make thee exceedingly fruitful. And I will make nations of thee. And the king shall come out of thee. And I will establish my covenant between me and thee and thy seed after thee in thy generation. For an everlasting covenant to be a God unto them in thy seed after thee. Verse 8. And I will give unto you and to thy seed. After thee, the land where you are a stranger, and all the land of Canaan for an everlasting possession, and I will be their God. God is following a prophecy. Even after you have gone, your children will benefit. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I said, in the name of Jesus. So, it's very important as you live on earth, stay away from evil. Are you listening? Yes, sir. Stay away from evil and wickedness. Yes, sir. Ask God to give you wisdom how to live right. Amen. Because one thing you don't neglect now is you are sowing seed for the next generation. And God will displace you. There used to be a man like this, but it's no more. What happened? <coughs> Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise so get a hold of God's righteousness and grow in it. And then bear fruit in Jesus' name. Amen. So number one, because of authority. Number two, God shall for you. Number three, God is righteousness. Number four, they are wickedness. Very important. Revival comes because of wickedness in the land. When people truly turn to God and cry to him and God goes before them. And the name of God is revered and honored in the land. That is when revival comes. Nations come only when God has sinned. The cry of that land. And God sends his prophets to prophesy, to declare, to warn them, to correct them, to heal them. Amen. Amen. Lift up your right hand and bless the name of God. Bless the name of God. Thank God for
for his righteousness. The Bible says he made him who knew no sin to be made sin for us that we may be made the righteousness of God. In Romans 5 verse 17 it says much more they that receive abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness shall reign in life, shall subdue, shall dominate, shall take charge. Recognize the righteousness of God. The right standing you have with God. God has forgiven you. He has made you to forget your past. Behold now the new things. He says, look new things I do from today. I make you superior. I make you might. I make you great. Lakuza hataka. Pali kombre ide paku jede peria kobobo. The nations are coming not because of our righteousness. They are coming not because we are mighty. They are coming not because we will show them who we are. They are not coming because we started very well. They are not coming because we do very wonderful jobs. But they are coming because of God's righteousness. Because of the hand of God. Because God is going ahead of us. He is fighting our battles even when we are not saved. Acknowledge the righteousness of God. In the name of Jesus. To him that is pure, all things are pure. Begin to see things in the right direction. in the name of Jesus or else they should repent from what they're doing otherwise this nation has been taken over Yeah. 
said by the power of the Holy Ghost, I speak life. The life of God. The light of God. And light shines in darkness. And darkness cannot understand. Darkness cannot overpower. Darkness cannot subdue light. Light can subdue. Begin to cast light in your family. Cast light in your life. Cast light in your, in your job. Cast light there right now. Direct light. Take the word of God and put it there. Ha, ha, ha. Begin to declare. What do you see? What do you see? Paragwasabrida Kabbalah.
Just say it. Praise God. Just say it. I'm a big giver. Amen. Little girlfriend, Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you. I give you praise. Your people have given in faith. Multiply them and increase them. Let abundance come to them in your goodness and blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. Come and give. Come and give. Thank you, Jesus. Sura baka basa kata la baba baba. Darling Jesus, darling Jesus, oh my darling. Tell you, please. Have you checked on this hotel? Amen. Hallelujah. I went there once. I liked the place. Amen. It's a good place. Praise Amen. God. So please, Papa, has to be there. Amen. And come. Um, the the. Praise God. Hallelujah. You expected to carry some money with you. Amen. 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 As it is not our place. Mm -hmm. That's another way to support you. He's a Jew with finances. Amen. Praise God. Amen. 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 We expected to carry 25,000. If that is too little for you, please, you can step up and pay for somebody. Amen. 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 So it's on Saturday. It's on Saturday. How many of you know Ross Hotel? How many of you know? How many of you know? All right. So what time? What time are we there? 10. Which hotel is near there? Okay. What to do if you do not know the place? Come here at 8.30. Okay? Where? Grand No, but I think the border is now, so. Please just say I'm going to Rossi Hotel. You get lost, you'll find yourself there. Praise God. The important place. Right now, what I want us to do is register so that we budget for you properly. Amen. Praise God. How many of you want to be there? You want to be not because I've spoken of it. Look at your unbelief. Say Jesus is Lord. Now, the testimony's breakfast is a very powerful time. We're just gathering together to share the wonderful stories of God. The testimonies from the time you come to church. How have you been blessed? Praise God. Amen. Amen. By the way, everybody is welcome. Everybody is welcome. If for you cannot make it to 25, please operate the administration and say, this is it. Okay? But make sure you come. It's for the church, not for selected people. Amen? Amen. We want to hear testimonies. We want to know, come and hear, how did this church start? Where were we first? You would be among the first people, unknowingly. Praise God. So please be there. It will be glorious. It will be glorious for us to be there. Amen. 
Glory to God. But most importantly, register so that you can be guided if there is any change. Amen. 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 Praise God. Let's share the words of the grace and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The fellowship of the Holy Spirit is with us all. Now for In Jesus' name. God bless you. Go and shine. Go and increase. In Jesus' name.